Perhaps the most exciting feature that made it into the WebViewer 8.3 is PDF editing. My name is Andre, product manager for PDFtron's WebViewer. In this video, we're going to uncover all new updates that are coming to WebViewer 8.3. You probably came across a scenario in which you notice a typo on the PDF document that you're viewing, or possibly the heading or the title that needs to be updated, or you know, just something inside of the paragraph needs to be updated like a date, or if you did some page manipulation, the page numbers are all out of whack, it needs updating. Now, the text editing mode actually edits the text inside of a PDF document. So for example, here I can scroll to the page two and update this to include PDF Tron overview. I'll hit save. And now, Let's go ahead and instead of two column layout, let's actually make it a kind of line after line. As you notice, as I move and resize the box, it reflows the content or kind of takes advantage of the new screen real estate that it has. And then inside of it, let's go ahead and add all the different formats that PDFtron actually covers. So I'll add PDF, MS Office, Video, images, and I'll hit save. A quick refresh, it actually goes ahead and enters the new text strings. At this point, I can go ahead and download the document with my changes inside of it. So let's take a look at the next feature that's coming to WebViewer 8.3 release. Here I have a PDF document loaded in front of it, but at the same time, I can preload or load additional documents as I go. So for example, in a new tab here, I have my legal contract that is opened that I can navigate to. And by the way, this is an MS Office file open side by side together with the PDF document. I really hope you enjoyed the updates and features that are coming in newest WebViewer 8.3 release. If you do have any questions or feedback, you can go ahead and ask them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching.